हेलो दिस इज ज्योमेट्री लेसन 4.1 इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चंस ऑन सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स द टॉपिक दैट आई डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लेसन नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन दैट विल मेक योर कांसेप्ट मोर क्लियर द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट ए बी सी इज अ राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल इन व्हिच बी डी इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ए सी ए डी इज गिवन टू यू एज 16 सी डी इज गिवन टू यू एज 9 यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द लेंथ ऑफ बी डी now we want to use the pythagoras theorem in order to calculate the bd that will take a lot of time rather than this we will try to solve the question with the help of similarity this angle is 90 degree this angle is also 90 degree let's say this angle is theta so this angle this angle is 90 minus theta that complete b angle was 90 so this will be theta so you can see that 90 minus theta plus theta this complete angle will be 90 this is theta this is 90 this is 90 minus theta why 90 minus theta because that sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degree now you can see that this smaller triangle bcd the sum of all the angle is 180 degree now can i say that these two smaller triangles this is triangle number 1 let me make this is triangle number 1 the and this is triangle number 2 can i say triangle number 1 is similar to triangle number 2 triangle number 1 is similar to triangle number 2 what criteria of similarity a a a all the angles of first triangle is same as all the angle of second triangle you can see the first triangle what are the angle theta 90 minus theta and 90 Look at the second triangle. What are the angle? Theta 90 minus theta and 90. All three angles of first triangle is equals to all corresponding angles of second triangle. So we can say that these two triangles are similar. And we know that when the triangles are similar, the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. Now let's determine what will be the corresponding sides. Can I say the triangle? First triangle is triangle ABD. Is similar to now. while writing the second triangle you must uh, write the uh, angle series for the first triangle can i say angle this point a what is angle theta this point b what is the angle of first triangle 90 minus theta and at d point the angle is 90 degree the same series must be there theta 90 minus theta 90 the benefit of this is that you don't have to uh, check what will be the corresponding side of which you can simply determine by this rule Where is the theta lie? Theta lies at point B, ninety minus theta C, and ninety D. So triangle ABD is similar to triangle BCD. Now what you have to do? You have to simply match the letters. First two letter, the side will be corresponding side will be first two letter of the second triangle. So AB is corresponding to BC. The ratio will be same. AB upon BC, first two letter of first triangle, first two letter of second triangle. second and third letter of first triangle second and third letter of second triangle this will be corresponding side so bd corresponding side would be cd and first and third a and d first and third a d will be corresponding to bd now what we need to calculate we need to calculate the bd can we get bd now you can see that cross multiply you will get bd square Is equals to AD into CD. So BD square, AD we know that sixteen, CD is nine. This is one forty four. So BD will be twelve because one forty four is twelve square. So BD would be equals to twelve. So very important. You can solve this kind of question in exam under a minute. Just only thing you need to do is to go for the similarity. Very important. This concept. Uh, how to determine the corresponding side first triangle you can write in any way but this angle series of first triangle must be equal to angle series of second triangle so in this way you got your answer bd will be equals to 12 second question is this again a triangle given to you 8 15 and 17 is a right angle triangle again bd is perpendicular to ac you need to find the length of bd again now can we use the same method that we use let's try that this is angle is theta 
this is 90 this will also be 90 this is 90 minus theta this will be theta and this will be 90 minus theta will it make sense uh, can I can I say the triangle as previously discussed triangle ABD where the angle series theta 90 minus theta and 90 is similar to triangle again angle series must be same theta minus 90 minus theta 90 theta is there at B 19 BCD will it make sense so AB upon BC will be equals to BD upon CD this will be equals to AD upon BD now can we calculate the length of BD here you can see that BD will be like this so BD square will be equals to AD into CD as I discussed previously but I, neither I don't know AD neither I don't know CD I know that complete AC is 17 so this will this won't work we have to think something else can I say that triangle smaller triangle any of the two smaller single triangle two shorter triangle are similar to the bigger triangle can I say that triangle ABD where angle series is theta 90 minus theta and 90 this is similar to the big triangle ABC because ABC also our angles are also theta 90 minus theta and 90 degree so can I see that angle should, series should must be same theta 90 minus theta 90 theta angle is at A 90 minus theta is C this is B ACB can I say triangle ABD is similar to ACB by AAA you can see that all the triangle in all the angles in triangle ABD that is theta 90 minus theta and 90 the same angles are there in bigger triangle ACB now you may be able to find the value as I have written the triangles according to angle series you have to just write the first two letters AB upon AC AB corresponding side will be AC BD corresponding side will be BC and first and third AD corresponding side will be equals to AB now here, here how can I find uh, AC uh, I need to find the length of BD I can find the length of BD from here or from here you can see that AB is how much AB I know that is 15 AB is 15 AB is 15 AC is 17 I know that BD I need to calculate BC I know it is 8 so can I say that BD would be equal to cross multiply 120 by 17 so you got the length of BD so here the my logic was that to give this question is that similarity is applicable whenever three angles of any one triangle is equal to three angles of other triangle the triangles are similar and whenever the triangles are similar the corresponding sides are in the same ratio question 3 is ABC is a triangle D is given to you parallel to BC DE is 1 fourth of BC area of triangle ADE is 10 square centimeter this triangle area ADE this triangle area is 10 this smaller triangle we need to find the area of quadrilateral BCED now please pause the video try to solve this question by yourself then look at the way I have solved now given that D is parallel to BC can I say this angle is alpha this angle is also alpha two lines are parallel here you can see that D is parallel to BC and AB can act as a transversal AB can act as a transversal line if AB is a transversal line and D and BC are parallel lines you can say that these two angles are corresponding angles alpha and alpha corresponding angle same way this angle is beta this angle will also be beta again corresponding angles this angle is theta so this is single angle so can I see the triangle ADE you look at the angle series this is theta alpha and beta this is similar to triangle bigger triangle ABC again ABC triangle have also the same angles theta alpha and beta angle series is same now these two triangles are similar sides are in the same ratio can I say that AD upon AB first two letter first two letter second and third letter DE upon BC and first third A upon AC these two will be equal we know that DE upon BC from here you can say that 
DE upon BC is 1 by 4. So all this will be equals to 1 by 4. So sides are in the ratio 1 is to 4. I told you that whenever the sides are in the ratio A is to B, the triangles area of the triangles will be in the ratio square of side. So can I say that area of triangle ADE, smaller triangle, area of triangle ABC will be in the ratio of squares of sides. Sides are in the ratio 1 is to 4 is square. So area will be in the ratio area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle ABC. This will be in the ratio 1 is to 16. This ratio is 1 is to 16. How to make the ratio into numbers? You can take that. This area is x. This area is 16x. If this is x, this is 16x. Now given that area x is 10. Area of ADE we know that. So we have given that x is equals to 10. So 16x will become 160. It means that area of triangle ABC would be equals to 160. But we don't have to calculate the area of triangle ABC. We need to calculate the area of quadrilateral BCED. So this complete triangle area is 160. Out of this, this is 10. So this will be 150 square centimeter. This is 10, this is 150. This will total make it 160. So our answer is 150 square centimeter. This is question 4. PQ, TU and SR all are 90 degree to the same line. We need to find the length of TU. PQ is given to you 12, U R given to you 9 and SR is given to you 18. So how we will use, again we will use the concept of similarity. First of all, uh, when three lines are perpendicular to the same line, when three lines are perpendicular to the same line, let's say L1, L2 and L3, three lines are perpendicular to the same line, they are always parallel. L1 is parallel to L2 is parallel to L3. So same way I can say that PQ will be parallel to TU will be parallel to SR. Now you can see that if this angle is, I'm making this angle is alpha, this angle will also be alpha as TU is parallel to SR. Corresponding angle, this angle is 90, this angle is 90 already we know that, this is 90. This angle is let's say beta. Uh, same is true with these two triangles. We can make this angle is let's say alpha beta. If you have taken this is theta. This angle is if let's say phi. This angle will also be phi. As you can see that PQ is also parallel to TU. TU is parallel to PQ. So they two are parallel lines and PR is a transversal. So this phi phi theta, so let me, I have just made the angle equal. Now you have to see which two triangles are similar. Can I say that triangle QTU is similar to triangle. Now what are the angle series? Beta alpha and 90. Beta alpha and 90. So find the beta alpha and 90. This will be triangle QSR. Now we need to solve find. You don't need to write the angles above this. When I say QTU, angle series is beta alpha and 90, same angle series beta alpha and 90. Now, we need to find the length of TU, let's say this length is Y, this length I am taking Y, this length I am taking X. So can I say that Y, TU, corresponding side of TU would be SR. So TU is Y upon SR is 18. What else I know that? I can know this QU will be equals to QR corresponding side. So QU is X is corresponding side is X plus 9 as QR. This is X plus 9. So this ratio will be equal. Again, I can say that triangle RTU, RTU angle series, you get the angle series RTU. This is, this angle is 90 degree. RTU means theta phi and 90. Same, this is similar to theta phi and 90. This is RPQ. This is triangle is similar to triangle RPQ. We only take the corresponding side. Uh, we don't need to consider RT and RP. We will consider TU, second and third letter, TU upon PQ. First and third, first and third. RU upon RQ. Now TU, I know that this is equals to Y. TU is equals to Y. 
and PQ is how much? PQ is 12. What is RU? This is 9. What is RQ? This is X plus 9. Now compare the value of Y. Y is here is 18X by X by 9 from this side. Y is equal to 18X by X by 9. From this side, Y is equal to 108 cross multiply by X by 9. So can I say x by 9, x by 9 cancel, 18x is equal to 108, x will be equal to 6. When x is 6, what will be the value of y? Put in any equations. y was 108 upon x plus 9. So y will be equal to 108 upon 9 plus 6, 15. So this is 15, 6, 15, 7, 10, 5. Left is 3, this is 7.2. So y will be equal to 7.2 so that is the length of tu so that was all about questions on similarity of triangle